Hello, hello, this is Old Twit Talks Cars again. I hope you're well. Uh, I just wanted to run through here a couple of the sites that I referred to in my recently and horribly named blog, Wheelie Wheelie Tedious. I'm really sorry about that. I just can't help myself. So anyway, if you shoot over to my blog at talkscars.com and have a look for that horrendously named post, you'll see that we are looking for a set of alloys with tyres fitted for our Peugeot 306 Cabriolet that we've recently acquired just really for a bit of fun uh, and to see how well we can transition from a £40,000 BMW 330 to potentially using that Peugeot for three or four months until my new gig comes up. So anyway, we were interested in what other tyres and wheels uh, we could fit on that car because it's got a fairly small set at the moment, although they are original, so we will be keeping them. So uh, I found this site, which is called, as you'll see at the top left here, wheel-size.com, and it boasts to be the world's largest wheel fitment database. So let's give it a whirl. Um, I found it pretty interesting and pretty good, but then I'm a weird nerd. Um, so let's see what you think to it. So plonking in Peugeot there and the year of our particular car is a sprightly 1999 and the model is 306. So by putting that in, it populates a load of info here. And obviously what you've got here is the different uh, engine versions. And our car is this one here, which is the two litre 134 brake horsepower car. And what this shows you in this table, <coughs> excuse me, um, are the options potentially that are fitted to the car. So the bold ones are the factory fit options. So a couple of different options here in our trim. We've got this one. We've got the 195-55 R15 tyres. And we've got the 6J by 15 ET 19 wheels. Now, again, over on my blog, I absolutely bore you um, rigid with all the information around these various um, bits of information and numbers that are presented here so rather than going to that here have a read over there but i tell you all about this um, and yeah it's all uh, to me interesting to most people tedious so this is what we've got at the moment the, the other two uh, entries here potentially show you what this database thinks will fit um, without any problem at all. So we've got a couple more options. We've got 205 50R15 uh, and we've got a slightly wider rim which is a 6.515 and the ET18 you'll, you'll learn about over on my blog. And the other option is potentially uh, in terms of um, tyre uh, is a 205 45ZR16 so excitingly this goes up to a 16 inch rim so you've got 7 inch in width 16 inch in diameter so this database is saying we could get 16 inch wheels on here if we drop the profile down from 55 to 45 so that's quite exciting so that just really gives you that you, you're going to need at some point when you're looking for wheels, you're going to need all this information. But again, I've detailed it all in my blog, so go and have a look at it there. Um, but this is where you find all the information you, you need. Now, the other thing that you can do here, which is quite useful and interesting, is bang up to the top again. You can look for um, other vehicles that use the type of um, wheels that you're looking for. So if you go to rim size... Now, one of those options you'll remember was a rim diameter of 16, uh, a rim width of 7. So this is the biggest wheel that, that was showing that we could we could get in there. Uh, I can't actually remember what the offset was, but I know our standard offset on the car is 19. So I'm going to plump for 18 and I'm going to put a tolerance in of 2. Um, the centre ball I happen to know again it was all in that table it's 65.1 and the bolt pattern I happen to know is 40 uh, is 4 times 108 so basically what that tells us is there's a load of cars here that um, fitted those wheels and tyres as a standard fitment so 
what that enables you to do is jump into eBay and go and have a look, for example, at a Peugeot 405 alloy wheels. And it shows you there the, the, the two specific models and the years that um, featured those wheels. So I can potentially look those cars up on eBay and see if I can find those wheels. And this site tells me that they will fit and they'll all be hunky dory. So that's quite useful, I think. Um, quite an exciting way to uh, live your life. You can fiddle with this a bit, particularly the offsets. I mean, you can get away with some potentially different offsets. And obviously, a lot of the wheels that you see on eBay will have wildly different offsets from that. Now, the other thing that tends to happen is you find a set of wheels um, on eBay that don't quite fit these uh, criteria. And you want to know what that's going to actually do to your car. So this is where the other site that we use comes in handy and it's imaginatively called willtheyfit.com. So that's all one word, willtheyfit.com. Um, <clears throat> and what you've got here is you're greeted by a section that asks you to put in your existing setup. So we've currently got 195s, 55, 15s on the Peugeot. Um, our wheel width is 6 and because I've spent so much time doing this I know that our offset is 19. Now, potentially, let's imagine that I found a set. I'm not happy with 16 inch wheels. I want to see if I can get some 17 inches on here. So let's say I've found a set that have got tires of uh, 205 width, 40 profile, and the wheels are 17 inch diameter. Let's imagine for fun that they're seven inches in width, and let's imagine that their offset is, I don't know, 25. So that's my existing setup in the orange. What I'm interested in and have seen on eBay potentially is this, the green, the new setup. And by hitting calculate, some say this takes a while, it's for whatever reason, there we go. Um, I get down here a nice little table of results. And this tells me some really interesting stuff. Um, this is the, the diameter of the new setup versus, the, again, you've got your orange for existing, green for new, so you can see the differences. Now, interestingly, because the profile is much lower, but the wheel is much bigger, it results in broadly the same diameter and circumference. So there's hardly any difference there, literally a millimetre or so. Um, now, this is where it gets nerdy. Poke is the amount that the wheels poke out of the car, i.e. out towards the outside of the car. So previously we were getting 57.2 mil of, of poke on the standard ones, um, and now we're saying we're getting 63.9. The inset is the other side. So it's how far in those tyres protrude towards your suspension and what have you. So again, there is a bit of a difference there. So we've jumped from 95 to 113.9. Um, now, it's important to check on your car, uh, and we'll come to this bit in a minute, whether that's going to foul your suspension, because potentially this side has the potential to foul your, your suspension, um, and this side, the poke, has the potential to foul your wheel arches. So you need really to be as close to your existing setup as possible, because you know that they're okay. You can obviously go to the car and measure, try and measure the differences, uh, but that's not always as easy as it sounds. But however, this gives you a good guide as to how far off you are off your current setup. Now, the other important thing is, again, that you're reading my blog, is clearly if you change the circumference of the wheels and the size, it's potentially going to throw your speedo readings out. Um, but again, if you remember the diameter and the circumference at the top were very similar, so we don't really have a problem here. So what this is saying is existing set up at 30 miles an hour my speedo reads 30 under the new setup it would read pretty much 30 um, same with 60 miles an hour so again that's because those um, circumference and diameters haven't really changed um, the ride height has changed marginally again uh, 0.15 millimeter nobody's going to notice that you're going to be riding the car's going to be riding higher um, now this to me is the important bit and this is where you need to get your tape measure out and have a good look at your car and, and get an idea of what this is going to do to you. Um, so here it helpfully says compared to your existing wheel, this new wheel will have an inner rim which is 
millimeters closer to the suspension strut. So that's this green line here. The orange, you'll remember, is your original, and the green is how that's changed. So you can see that's come in, um, getting on for 20 mil, two centimeters in towards your suspension strut. So that's where you're going to need to get your measure out and see if your car can actually cope with that. We've got very little. We've got about a finger's width uh, on the Peugeot setup currently between that and the suspension strut. So we've not got a lot to play with there. Um, the outer rim, so the bit that sticks out of the car, out of the wheel arch, um, it's saying will poke out 6.7 millimetres more than before. So again, you need to have a look and see if your car can accommodate that without it um, without it um, catching on the uh, wheel arches. Again, it's not a lot and most cars probably will be able to accommodate that. So in, all in all, I would say that maybe not on our Peugeot, but on most cars, this wheel should be accommodated. This wheel and tyre combination should easily be able to be accommodated um, within the car. Uh, so, so, you know, I think that's a really useful thing and it helps you decide if the really nice wheels that you've seen uh, are going to fit on your car and whether it's worth splashing some cash on them. So anyway, I hope that's been useful. Um, if you've got money to burn, you can look over here and get some lovely new rims that fit this um, criteria that you're looking for. Uh, you know, on here, they're about £140 a wheel and then you've got to put tyres on them. So that's not for our budget for sure. Um, but, you know, who knows? Um, you know, lots of people have got a lot more money, I'm sure. <laughs> so anyway, I hope that was useful. Uh, please don't worry that my uh, Norton has expired. It says that to me every day. Um, and in the meantime, stay safe. Please have a look at my blog, particularly um, the wheelie, wheelie, tedious uh, blog, which tells you much more about this tyre setup. Uh, that's on talkscars.com. Uh, it's pretty boring, but hey, what else have you got to do at the moment? Anyway, speak to you soon. We're going to be back out with some cars and with the Peugeot and with the BMW and possibly with the uh, Renault Twingo GT and various other vehicles soon. So please keep coming back and uh, watching my YouTube channel. Thank you. Stay safe. See you soon.